What up, hunty? Welcome to Way of Yao. My name is Yao, and it is a pleasure to see you all. As you know, we are in Pride Month right now, and I can't believe it's taken me 22 days to create a look. But finally, the look is here. Now, for any of you guys who follow me on Instagram, you would have seen I posted this look a very long time ago, but of course, I recreated it for you guys. I've changed the eyeshadow before we had red on the top and blue on the bottom with a very thick black liner but I slimmed down the liner and did a rainbow look instead to match the chin strap and I hope you guys are living for this look. I think that Pride is such a such an important time of year and I think that it is you know it's something where you're able to really express yourselves and be yourselves and just do and just do you and I think that um, this that is what this is given and I hope you guys love it I hope you guys are living for this look I just wanted to recreate it for you guys to you know it kind of makes you feel a little bit empowered when you see those colors it makes you think of freedom so I hope you guys are living for this look for anybody who is new to the family do not forget to hit that subscribe button so you can um, you know stay up to date with my weekly uploads we do loads of different things over here sis we do face looks we do story times we do reviews we do uh, hair videos we do everything so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're not already a part of the family as I said subscribe hit that like button to show your support if you actually enjoyed watching this video and do not forget to leave a comment in the comment section all of this would mean so much to me guys it literally took me hours to create this look I'm talking about five six hours like deep hours okay so if you could please show me that support it would mean the world to me and let's get it popping perfect now let's get straight into this tutorial as you can see I already have my eyebrows applied and I have applied a light concealer underneath my brow to really sharpen it and give it that defined shape I'd usually use something that is more skin tone but I want this to be quite dramatic and out there now we are going to get right into the chin strap and to create that really nice opaque finish i like to go in with a liquid or cream as a base and then i set that with a loose shadow so for the base we're going to be using all nyx products i'm going to be using some of their full throttle shadow sticks and some of their liquid suede matte liquid lipsticks um so it's going to go from yellow to green to blue to purple to pink and then to red in the center. I would usually use all liquid lipsticks for a base, but because they don't do a green and yellow as a base, I am gonna use their shadow sticks, which are a little bit thicker, a little bit more creamy. And to set those colors, I'm gonna be using mainly my Stargazer Neon UV Pigments. Um, so we have a blue, we have a green, we have a purple, we have a yellow, and we have a pink. And to set the red, I'm going to be using my NYX Primal Colors Shadow. And of course, you're going to need something to do the outline of the chin strap because you don't want it to be wonky at the end. So, for contrast against my skin, I'm going to go and take this white pencil, which looks like this. It's just a white pencil. If you're fairer skin tone, I would say it might be better to go in with something maybe darker, brownish, maybe even black, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go in with the white because I'm such a deep complexion melanated sis, okay? So this is what we have here at the moment. As you can see, I actually had to shave up my sideburn a little bit just so that I could redraw on the line a little bit higher because I didn't want it to be too low. So this is what we're working with and then we're gonna start laying our colors down. So starting off, I'm gonna take Dangerously. As you can see, I've filled it in very thick. There's no gaps at all whatsoever. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and place the green. This is Poison Proper. I'm gonna place that right next to the yellow. Now, before those colors dry in place, I want them to blend together. So I'm gonna take some of my makeup sponges just to blend those two colors together. Perfect, so that's what we have so far a yellow blending into the green. Now we're gonna go ahead and add Kitten Heels, which is a liquid lipstick, and I'm gonna place that next to the green. What I like about these matte liquid lipsticks is that they don't dry down super fast and they don't dry down fully matte. They still have a little bit of creaminess to them, so you're able to blend them out before they've fully dried. Now taking a fresh sponge, I'm gonna go and blend the blue into that green. 
I'm gonna go ahead and add Amethyst, which is also a liquid lipstick, next to the blue. I quite like the way that purple's blended into the blue. It's pretty, it's pretty seamless. And guys, while I'm blending out, I keep the other colors at hand, just in case I need to go back and blend out the further colors. I'm gonna add Pink Lust, which is another matte liquid lipstick from NYX, and I'm gonna be placing that next to the purple. That is bloody bright. That is so bright. Lastly, we're gonna use Kitten Hills in the center, which is a really nice deep red. Just gonna place that down. I like using liquids as a base because I feel as though when I just use shadows or loose pigments, it's never really as pigmented. Perfect. So now that we have all of that blended out, I'm gonna start setting it with some Stargazer pigments. So we're gonna start off with the yellow, to the green, to the blue, and so on. Oh my God. That is just, girl, I'm actually living again. I forgot how it felt when I first created this look, but to create it again feels absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now onto the green one. Blending that out and into the yellow. You can see that it's completely transforming from a pigmented beard to a pigmented pigmented beard. Now it's time for the purple. So we're gonna move on to the pink and then lastly will be the red. Mm-hmm, hunty, get into this mug, okay? Finally, we're gonna set the red with some of that primal shadow. Perfect, so that is all of the colours blended out and set in place. Now we just are gonna clean it up a bit. I'm gonna use a way a bit of a girl can't even speak. I'm gonna use a baby wipe just to remove the edges, you know, the bits I've got on my ears, clean up the line a little bit and clean under here a little bit just so that it all looks a little bit more precise, okay? And usually when I do any shadow around this area, somehow I end up breathing it in and some of it goes into my nostril so I'm just gonna remove that because it doesn't look very cute. Perfect, now moving on to the eyes, essentially I'm gonna be doing the same thing we did on the chin strap, we're gonna go from yellow to green to blue to purple to pink and then into red going from outer to inner. So let's get that popping. Now taking a fluffy brush I'm gonna blend the two colours together. I'm looking so crazy right now. I don't know how this is gonna look cause the first time round I didn't do this eye bit, but um, hopefully we look cute. Now the red lastly, pop that right in there, right up in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set it with the pigments. I'm really stretching my eyelid and raising my brows so that I can really get into any of those creases. Just gonna blend it out with a brush to make sure it's all seamless. Perfect, now that we've set all of the shadow and it's looking pretty nicely blended, I'm gonna go ahead and remove any of the fallout. Perfect, it's all looking nicely blended. I'm still not sure if I wanna add a black winged liner or not. I'm gonna add a little bit of um, base makeup, some foundation, some concealer and powder. And once that's all on, then I'll decide if I wanna add a liner or not. So I'll be back in one moment. Perfect, so now that we have our base on, I'm gonna go ahead and extend my inner corners with my Suva Beauty Cherry Bomb Liner, and I'm gonna take it along my lower lash line as well. In order to activate it, I'm gonna spray a little bit of water onto it, and then I'm gonna start with the liner. Perfect, so now that we've finished with the eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my lip using the Celebration Pigment from Bella Pierre. And for my lipstick, I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Witches Matte Liquid Lipstick. So I'm gonna extend the corners of my mouth using a liner brush. I'm just gonna take it out. And then I'm gonna connect it upwards with my lips. 
Baby girl, are you feeling snatched? This is almost complete, however, we need to add some lashes. So I'm gonna be using the Lila lashes from New Artist Cosmetics. I'm gonna apply them off camera and I'm gonna judge myself up a little bit, add some finishing touches and I'll be back in a moment. So I really, 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 really hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. It would mean the world to me if it meant the world to you. And I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget guys, if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like if, you're, if you enjoyed this video. And comment. And I really hope I see you guys in the next video. So we can get it popping. We can get snatched together. And stay beat, baby. Bye, guys.